What's up everyone, Mike here from The Art of Guitar. Today here with a bunch of scary sounds that you can make on the guitar. Uh, pardon my voice, I just got over a bad cold, but uh, had this inspiration, had a race to the studio and make this video for you. Uh, let's just count down, I think there's about nine or ten of these of tricks that you can do on the guitar. And I like to use these live just to create some chaos sometimes. Uh, very little effects that you need, mostly distortion, uh, whammy bar helps. And then uh, a few of these, you might have to have a certain kind of guitar for them to work. But uh, overall, these are general, generally things that people can do. If you ever want to cause chaos before a song, just go ahead and turn on your distortion. And then a lot of artists do this, including Eddie Van Halen. You just tap the back of your guitar neck, and it causes a little bit of rumble to happen. And uh, depending on your rig, it can sound very chaotic if you're playing through a huge amp. where you take the side of your pick and instead of doing a normal pick scrape that just comes all the way down you just start on the first fret and you slowly bring the pick up so use distortion with this one as well of a ripping tearing type sound but it's pretty cool if you have a decent tremolo system and you bring the whammy bar all the way down you can hear the strings hitting the pickups in a very slacked way uh, tool uses this very well but it sounds kind of spooky <laughs> it's really cool to use this after a dive bomb how the end of the world's gonna sound. First time I heard a band do this, I think it was Korn. And you're just using two harmonics that rub together in a very crazy way if you use distortion. And we're gonna use the third string, fifth fret, and the second string, seventh fret. It creates this really crazy harmonic dissonance. So I believe in their riff it was used like this. Speaking of dissonance, this one is a little more able to be controlled. This is also a chord thing, but a lot of bands have used this. Everyone from Sepultura, you'll hear this a lot with uh, just certain guitar players that want to use unison bends to the to their fullest. So a normal unison bend would sound like this. Almost all of our artist series, we have a unison bend in there. They're very popular. But if you just underbend a little bit and just keep picking, you get this really crazy fight between frequencies. Frequency fight. So you probably hear a lot of tool sound in that. Now, if I just unbend it a little bit more and then bring it back up, you hear the frequencies fighting faster and slower. It's very interesting. You can make the sound of a, a growling dog, a rabid growling dog, we'll call it Cujo. And what you do is you slide up and down a string, but as you slide up, we're going to push the whammy bar down. So it sort of evens out, but you still get the sound of the frets moving a little bit. Okay, volume swells are really cool. If you just go like this, Fret a note really hard, and then bring up the volume. You get that cool effect. It's sort of like a bowing effect. However, what I like to do is I like to hammer on, bend, and as I'm releasing the bend, turn up the volume. You get this sort of ghostly sound. You can also reach up if you're in the middle of a solo and just hit these top strings right here. So you have the strings above the nut. It creates this harp-like sound. Or backwards. Okay, if you have a whammy bar, you could take the whammy bar off. 
Some come off easier than others. And then basically you have like a makeshift slide if you want. You can put it on the strings and move it around and acts much like a slide does. So you could just touch it on the strings. <laughs> Sounds a little bit like a possessed robot or something. A droid. And we can't forget the classic Black Sabbath trick where you play the E string, but you pre-bend it by pressing. Once again, behind the nut here, we're going to be playing, and we have the string bent and we let it go slowly, and you get this sound. And it sounds twice as scary if you add another guitar doing the same thing over the top of it, like overdubbing. So those are some freaky sounds you can make with a guitar. There's more that you could do a lot more with effects pedals, but I really wanted to show you what you could do with minimal effects uh, just at the spur of the moment if you're playing live and you want to freak people out or something like that. So try them on your own. Tell me if you have more. Put it in the comments. Uh, maybe I'll make a video about those in the future. But uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys at the next video. Thanks. Bye.